Hi there, today I am working on putting up a nice trellis right here by my raised garden beds that I just started planting last week. So what I chose to use for my trellis ended up being, this is a four by 16 foot piece of cattle panel, which is really heavy duty. Um, and I think it's gonna work perfectly once I get it secured. I actually had a really funny time trucking this home yesterday. I wasn't sure what to expect. I had never really hauled anything that long before. Um, so I found this at my local North 40 store uh, for $24 and went around back to have it loaded up. And I asked the guys who helped me, you know, can you kind of wind it up to make it so it's not sticking out of the back of my truck bed? Um, <laughs> Just, I wasn't quite sure how to go about that. And they said, sure, we'll rainbow it. So they made it, they squished it. Um, so it made a nice rainbow, really tall in the back of my truck bed. And they said, you know, the tension holds it. It'll be nice and secure and you'll be fine. But it was really funny driving it home. I was kind of laughing. So got it here and it was fine. Unloading it was a little tricky. It, was it wasn't bad probably a two-person job just because there's you know it has that tension when it's in that rainbow form and you have to kind of watch your face and the guys told me that they said when you unload this make sure you watch your face make sure you kind of slowly back it out and I did it no problem but I didn't record me really wrestling this it's a little bit uh, hard to do by yourself I did get it done um, and in place so that's good the wire is a little bit hard to see just because you know it is just kind of that silver galvanized wire but i think this is how i'm going to set it up this configuration i did play around with trying to kind of make it taller and go right here so it's a little more narrow um, and that just felt a little tight it felt like it'd be a little more difficult to kind of get in there and work in the beds and i like this kind of easy more open structure of the trellis so i think this is what i'm going to go with now that does mean that my plants might have to shift a little so i did plant some peas here which tend to climb and then i had planned to do cucumbers here um, haven't planted them yet i do think there's room over here so i think i'm just going to plan to do cucumbers here and then because i'm not sure if those will quite fill in the trellis how i want it to be i think i'm also going to plant some purple hyacinth beans um, maybe in a few corners because from what i've seen what i've researched that plant is a really vigorous grower it's an annual here in our area i have two seed packets of it already and it's just really pretty it's a really uh beautiful like ornamental vine i was watching an alan smith video and he i think mentioned it was like thomas jefferson's favorite plant i, I could be wrong there um, so that kind of piqued my interest and i researched and i have a lot of plans for that plant okay in terms of fastening this down um, it stayed in place nicely overnight but we do get some pretty hefty winds through this area that come from the west so this would get directly hit um, in the summer sometimes my tomato plants once they kind of get taller i'll come out and they'll be a little sad so i do have poles ready to kind of stick through the cages um, so this definitely needs a little bit more securing so i think what i'm going to do is here go through and uh, do some staples just all along here i'll line it up a little bit better and then i do have some pieces of this rebar here that i can stick through on the other side and zip tie um, just to kind of give it a little more support. Okay, and then on this side, you can see I've already stuck through um, a few more pieces of rebar right here and then down here, and that kind of held it in place. Um, but I do want to attach maybe some zip ties here and all along there, maybe some staples. Um, I'm curious to see how that's going to work. So it might just kind of have to be a work in progress, but we can always add more uh, poles ties i could even probably add some screws kind of along here so we'll just kind of see 
Um, but I think it's going to work very well. All right, I did find a few extra pieces of rebar up in my forest area. So I'm just kind of putting these here for safekeeping. Um, what I think I'm going to do, and I'm trying not to disrupt my newly planted vegetables, my peas right here. I think I'm going to put some rebar just right down here into the corner and push it down as far as I can. One right there, and then I'll do the same on the other side. Okay, and then with those little rods, I think what I'm going to do, and this isn't the prettiest thing, but it's just going to make me feel a little bit better. I think I'm going to take a zip tie and just attach it around the rod and through, hopefully they're long enough, and through the uh, paddle wire just to kind of secure it. There we go so that, I don't know, so that we have support from the inside of the raised bed and from the outside. I did try taking my staple gun and stapling over the wire and the staples I have just aren't big enough, they're not long enough. So I think what I'm going to do is just take a few screws ever so often and just kind of wedge those screws around some wire and into the raised bed and kind of just hold it that way and like i said before this already has great tension on it this is just kind of helping to reinforce it so it doesn't go anywhere if we get those heavy winds these zip ties kind of make me laugh because yesterday i was in lowe's just looking for zip ties while i was trying to find some cattle wire and you know just looking and an associate came up and kind of said hey you look like you're you know looking for something and he very nicely um guided me to the zip ties and as i was following him i noticed that he kind of struck up a conversation with my three-year-old daughter and <laughs> i heard him say something to the effect of oh your mom wouldn't be too happy and then he kind of looks at me checks my face and uh he ups me to grandma. So he changes it from your mom to your grandma. <laughs> and I, I, I start laughing. I'm nice. I'm not going to get upset about that kind of thing. And I'm not very sensitive either. Um, but it was hilarious because then he goes on to say, like, I, I hadn't quite heard him clearly, but he says something, I swear he said, please don't karate chop me. And I just laugh and I'm smiling, like trying to make him comfortable. I can tell he accidentally kind of insulted me and um, <laughs> I don't want him to feel bad. And so he keeps kind of dancing in this circle. Meanwhile, I'm just kind of like, show me the zip ties. And uh, we finally get there and he says upon parting, you know, thanks for not hurting me. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, anyway nothing wrong with grandmas. I love grandmas. I can't wait to be a grandma. I have nothing against aging. Um, I think aging is a privilege, uh, <laughs> but it is my daughter. I'm 37. Um, and I just thought it was really funny. Um, so by the end of the day, you know, I was laughing about it, but I was kind of tired. I had kind of gone back and forth to a few different places looking for this, uh, wire. And my husband's kind of like, what's wrong? And I looked at him and I was like, I got called the grandma today. And he, you know, my husband is so sweet and supportive. And he just immediately burst into hysterical laughter. <laughs> because he's, he's had to kind of field his own share of comments. I think we all have, right? And he just thought it was so funny. And he told me like, oh, give the guy a break. And I had to explain, I, I absolutely did. I laughed and was, could not have been nicer. Um, but I just think it is so funny. I think we've all kind of dealt with those kind of comments, but from here on out, these are now my grandma zip ties. Oh, and the other thing was my older daughter had been listening. And after I finished telling the story, she looked at me and she goes, Oh mom, we have so many zip ties. I, I could have shown you where they were. <laughs> and I just thought, all right, no big deal, but it was funny. So I laugh when I think of my zip ties. All right, so same thing on this side. I'm just going to kind of pick 
a spot and make sure to secure the rod to the paddle wire. Not the most beautiful thing I've ever done, but I just feel good having a little bit more uh, security. Um, and I'm gonna go back through once I go grab some scissors and I'll just snip off these ends um, just so they're not as noticeable. So now what I'm going to do is over on this side, you can see I already kind of tested one here. I'm just gonna go through and kind of put some little screws here and there on both sides of the wire just to kind of hold it in place secure it to the side of the uh, raised bed All right, I did go ahead and flip my little garden labels from that side to this side since hopefully that side won't be visible um, over the summer once our trellis uh, vegetation kind of grows in. Um, and you can kind of see here how I went about just adding screws ever so often just to make sure the trellis has some kind of added support um, I am sure this is not the most technical, <laughs> professional way to do this, um, but like I said before, this already has some pretty good tension on it, just being wedged in here, and it's open design. Like when I was driving down the street, it doesn't move a whole lot. Like the wind just kind of passes right through it, so I don't think it'll be an issue. Just adding in a little bit more <laughs> security um, helps me sleep better at night. I don't like picturing this thing whipping around on the side of my house, which I don't think it will. I mean, look how heavy duty this stuff is. It's not this wimpy little wire. It does kind of move like I can, I can shake it a little bit. Um, so it's not just super firm and in place, but I just really like it. I feel like I have trellis fever now. I'm wondering where all I can add different trellises to. This 16 foot structure would make a great kind of walkway back by my forest area. Maybe I plant some climbing roses on it. I just love picturing it covered in vines, covered in different greens. Um, someone on my last video when I was planting my garden said that adding a trellis will really help kind of soften up this wall. It's just this big expanse of a wall and I think that's a great way to put it. I think it's going to kind of break up the wall especially when it's so hot out here and it's just kind of blinding. I think it'll be so nice to see some vegetation and I am planning to put more of the purple hyacinth bean um, in that pot up there hoping it'll kind of billow off the corners of my balcony. We'll see. In my mind it's beautiful but you never know how it's going to turn out. We do have our radishes that are already coming up. It's been less than a week. I think it was just a few days. I did put it in my garden journal, but radishes are so fast. So much fun to watch things come up. We're still waiting on our peas and then of course our carrots and celery seeds. And then our potatoes are in here. So fun, fun. 
and I showed my garden journal last video. Um, I will go ahead and kind of adjust how I'm moving things around since I did add the trellis um, in a slightly larger arch. So my cucumbers are going to move over to the opposite side of that garden bed. So I'll just make changes as they happen. And that way for next year, I have a nice record of where I planted everything, what was successful, what wasn't, and so forth. You know, I do kind of call this area the ugly side of my house. It's our nice kind of big gravel driveway. You could uh, park like a boat here, an RV. Um, it's just great access to our backyard. And we do have this really beautiful rock wall, uh, burning bush, juniper hedge. Um, it's really pretty, but it's also a great flex space um, over here. <laughs> it's looking a little junky right here, but this is actually where I'll put our little pool up. I'm toying around with the idea of like planting some flowers around it. And then I like the idea of doing some string lights. So from the house to like a pole, to the house, to a pole, and up to our back deck. And of course, I do have everything recorded on my journal, just kind of the ideas I have. So this is kind of my, you know, plan. It's just really fun to get in here and start drawing things up. And then this area, you know, I probably need to find some prettier chairs, but these are just so dang comfy. Well, that's about it for my trellis. The cattle panel, I think, is going to work really, really well. I'm just excited to have a nice kind of structure over there to make that area a little more interesting and kind of break up the side of the house a little bit. So we'll see how it goes. I will be planting the hyacinth bean um, in the next few weeks once it warms up a little bit more. Um, and then of course, planting the rest of my garden. So, and again, keep in mind, this isn't anything too technical or professional. I'm sure there's a million better ways to go about securing that trellis. This is just kind of what worked for me. And if I need to take greater measures, I can definitely do that. So this is just where I'm at right now and we'll see how it goes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.